Hey everybody, Cats and TV, and today we are talking about a curious episode in the Chinese Cultural Revolution, Mango Fever. The Cultural Revolution was launched by Mao Zedong in 1966 as a part of an attempt to reassert his power and ideology after the failures of the Great Leap Forward. Mao called on young people to rise up against the Communist Party establishment. They heeded this call forming Red Guard groups who fought the establishment and sometimes each other in a wave of violence and destruction that swept the country over the next three years and killed millions. In August of 1968, in the midst of all the turmoil, the foreign minister of Pakistan presented Mao with a box of mangoes as a gift. Mao sent the box to his propaganda team at Tsinghua University in Beijing. A few days later, an article appeared in the People's Daily. In the afternoon of the 5th, when the great happy news of Chairman Mao giving mangoes to the capital worker and peasant Mao Zedong thought propaganda team reached Tsinghua University campus, people immediately gathered around the gift given by the great leader, Chairman Mao. They cried out enthusiastically and sang with wild abandonment. Tears swelled up in their eyes, and they again and again sincerely wished that our most beloved great leader lived 10,000 years without bounds. Now in 2020, mangoes are ubiquitous around the world. I picked this one up earlier today at Trader Joe's. But in 1968, few people in China had ever seen or tasted a mango, so the fruit carried a sense of rarity, novelty, and even magic. One of the mangoes was sent to the Beijing Textile Factory, whose revolutionary committee organized a rally in the mango's honor. Workers read out quotations from Mao, and an altar was erected to display the fruit. It of course began to rot, but a wax replica was made and displayed prominently in the factory. More such wax replicas popped up, often in glass cases, and were even sent on tours around China. Badges and wall posters featuring the mangoes and Mao were produced, and large processions were organized in support of the precious gift. One of my favorite of the posters shows a larger-than-life Mao presiding over such a procession. Zooming in on the marchers, one can see a box of mangoes. Yes, it's propaganda, but there is so much detail in this piece. The mangoes were certainly prominent in Mao's effort to support the workers over the students of the Red Guard who had descended into factional power and whom he wanted to remove from power and influence. How much of this was calculated or a stroke of luck is hard to say. Apparently, Mao himself didn't care for mangoes. Like any novelty fad, this one came and went. But the legacy of mango fever lives on in many propaganda pieces and themed artifacts. An exhibition bringing together these pieces was mounted by the China Institute in New York in 2014. More information, including the catalog, can be found in the description below this video. Do you have any thoughts about Mango Fever and the Cultural Revolution, especially personal or family experience? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.